graduated in economics and has an MBA in financial services from the University of Porto. My name is Luiz Aguirre Moreira. I'm from Portugal, from a beautiful town, Porto, in the north of the country. Uh, and now I find myself living in Cargo. Very different towns, but with too much in common. Since I been in Malta, I, I found that Maltese culture and Portuguese culture have a lot of things in common. One of them for me that is very important is food. We Portuguese love to chat over food. We Portuguese love to be with our family over food. We Portuguese do business over food. So, some pictures of uh, our most amazing sweets, food, and so on. So this is something, I think, very Maltese. That's why our cultures are so similar. Let's write to the case. I'm here to speak about how to raise finance for your project. This is the most challenging thing that you might be facing when you have a good idea, it's essential for your business. Everything starts with your idea. After the idea, you need to have the project. The project needs to move always in this direction. After that, a very important thing as well is to find the right people. Dean, the first speaker, already spoke about the Importance of to have the right team. Not like this. And finally, you need to raise money for your business. And this is probably the most challenging model that you are going to face when you have the idea, the project, and you have the right team. <clears throat> so everything starts as well with something that is very important. To have a project, you need to have a vision. Without a vision, you do, you, know, you do not have a project. For example, Microsoft vision was many years ago to have a computer in every home. When they thought about these computers, just for a few offices. After the vision, you need to build a mission. Every project needs to have a mission. For example, Toys R Us mission was to be the world's greatest kids brand. After the mission, after the vision and the mission, you need to prepare your business plan. Your business plan should be driven by your mission and by your vision. Raising capital. Now, you are starting from zero, you need to start to think about how I'm going to finance my business. And the first recommendation is to find an investor. You have two ways, two types of investors. The friendly one, more cheaper, you might be finding a relative, a friend that can help you at the initial steps, or you can find a professional one, normally more, more uh, expensive. You can use part funding programs offered by the government, you multi the price. For sure, Steve will give you further details about the multi enterprise uh, programs that Malta has for startups. You can also raise uh, unsecured or secure bank debt is another option that you have always for you. And finally, you can pay suppliers once money from your customers can see. But to be honest, I don't recommend this. So
So, seeing the options that you have, my recommendation is to start with as much as you can with your own money, home capital. It's very important that. And after that, you start looking for the options that you might have. By using your hand, own money, everything is more easy. You have the flexibility, to get paid or to get paid. You don't have interest, everything is more cheaper. But, <clears throat> so, normally, the banks have appetite to finance those projects. Normally. We like to see good projects. And what you need to do to get a loan from the bank? You need to convince the bank. You need to show the bank that you have a good idea. You need to convince the bank that the project can work. And you have the capacity to repay the money that you are borrowing. Those are the key factors for the bank. <coughs> I'm now passing some message, some also key factors that normally the bank are analyzing when they are seeing proposals for start startups. Bankers are happy to open their vaults if they are convinced that. So what do you do? You need to show that your project is feasible. A project that's not feasible is a non-starter. You need to have a high quality and detailed business plan. When you do not have nothing, probably this is the most important thing, is to, to build and to raise a very strong business plan. You need to present with the bank with a reliable cash flow, especially if possible, vetted for someone that has experience for a consultant, for a audit company. You need to put, as well, as I, as I told you, a percentage of total finance. Home capital is very important for this. It's not normal that you approach a bank and ask, for example, who are 90% of the cost of the project burned by the bank. Normally, we don't like so it's very important that you put a part of your money in your project. You can offer as well security. It's very, it's a key factor for us when we are deciding if we land or not. You have, you need to have helps about the reputation. So with a good ashtray. And finally that if you have some profit experience for us, we do it as well. So those are the key factors, those are the most important things when we are seeing projects for start for startups. Those are the key factors. Of course, there are needs. We are not asking for every single factor. This is not the timetable. This is something. Some you might have, some you might not. But generally speaking, you have everything that we need there. So, I think now, when, when I was invited to speak about, about this, uh, I think the most important thing is to pass you some, some tips, some good ideas. Okay, you know now what the banks are asking for, you know that to raise capital sometimes is very difficult. Sometimes you can have everything, the idea, the project, the team, but something is missing. I cannot start if I do not have people available to invest in my business. So first of all, everything starts with the bank. You need to choose the right bank. Preferably, start with the bank that you are able to business with because, because they know you. Choose the bank that is hating, is looking 
for the type, this type of business. Normally, the banks work their mix of products. And there are some banks that they have are more keen to accept this type of facilities. So it's also important that to address that to address the bank that is looking for this business. Smaller banks are usually more flexible. They can have more flexibility to offer you a tailor made solution. Something that is just for you. And smaller banks, they usually offer a strong personal relationship with customers. And I think this year the model is very important. The relation with the customer. You need to feel that you are not a member for a time. You are a person. A person with needs, a person that has a problem, and we to the bank to fix the problem. And <clears throat> prepare a business plan. As I told you, when you are starting from zero, probably it is the most powerful tool that you might have. Never use ingredients, so it's a, it's a huge mistake. If you need something, go and speak. Don't send someone. Don't send someone. This is a very common mistake that normally they put accountants, consultants speaking with banks. We don't know the person, and sometimes this can make the difference. Try to have not just one offer, try to see more. You have the answer from your bank, try to see the alternative, it's important for you. Because the other bank can offer different conditions, better conditions. Believe in yourself and the others believe you. This is very important. It is the power to convince. Believing is a bit of our slogan. The power of believing. Money Bank has this, this slogan. So if you believe in your project, it, everything is much more easy for you. Because your relation with the bank will be interesting. Don't take a no as a final answer. Fight for it. If you believe in your project, fight for it. Fight. And never give up. You are young, you need to, to work, and giving up for something that you believe is a huge mistake. Now, I finished my, my, my presentation speaking about some types of funding that the banks can offer. We banks have much more than these, but those are the products that normally fit with your needs. Business overdrafts, business loans, deals of exchange, bank guarantees, and blah blah blah. So, grazie. Thank you for your time. Okay. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low